Hi guys, Mark Saturno here for another virtual vino vid. And I'm not gonna lie, it's getting cold. The nights are getting chilly. Uh, summer is way in our rear view right now. Um, and so it is time to cuddle up with a little devil. And this is the 2017 Devil's Elbow. Uh, we've been doing the Devil's Elbow since 2001, uh, straight Cabernet. And it's a bit of an anomaly in the Adelaide Hills. Uh, Cabernet doesn't ripen well in these cooler climes. However, where Longview Vineyard is situated, um, which is in the southern part of the Adelaide Hills, we're getting towards the ocean um, and a bit lower in elevation, about 400 metres above sea level at its highest point-ish. Um, but the, the hills are really open and exposed. Um, and our Cabernet sits on this 45 degree angle, almost like a solar panel and soaks up beautiful sun during the day, but it loves cool nights. And we've got plenty of those even during summer, even during vintage. So um, perfect conditions for Cabernet. I do not recommend that people grow Cabernet anywhere else in the hills. When Cabernet is underripe, it can be uh, quite green and weedy. Um, and, uh, and and we actually, that, that, that's a fault, you know, we don't want that. We want uh, lovely black currant flavors. You want a little bit of that cool green character, um, tomato leaf character, some say. Um, and we can get that in abundance here, but it needs to be backed up with some supple fruit. Cabernet, obviously a very noble variety. Um, and, uh, and one that is very, very long lived in a cellar. And these are no exception, uh, these wines, these, these devil's elbows. Um, they've got lovely acidity, a beautiful black currant nose. I mean, you look in the dictionary under Cabernet aroma and that's what it smells like. The 2017 vintage was very cool, very, very typically Adelaide Hills. Um, so, pretty mild days, very, very cool nights, long ripening period. So we weren't picking Cabernet until the end of April uh, in 2017. But what that did was just allow the Cabernet to do its thing. The sugars just slowly, slowly uh, came to the fore and uh, the fruit ripeness was um, all done in its own time. And, and, and the wine kind of shows that it's all in harmony. It's a lovely, gentle Cabernet. It's got just beautiful, heady aromas. Um, uh, some purple flowers there as well. Almost like it reminds me, our Cabernet always reminds me of my, uh, one of my auntie's perfumes is Christian Dior Poison, but not quite as intense as that. Um, but there's hints of that there, which is really, really beguiling, I think. Mm. The palette is really, really mid-weight. There's a little whiff of chocolate there. Um, and it's got these lovely, ripe, supple tannins, um, a beautiful wine for the fire, but, uh, you know, just on its own. It's an amazing thing about Australian reds like this, um, that they're a little on the, uh, on the, on the more robust side as they're kind of, you know, they can be, they can be sort of standalone wines as opposed to the sort of Italian styles that we featured before, um, uh, you know, some of the more traditional Australian wines are, you know, uh, meals in themselves. However, this is, you know, this, this has the volume turned down uh, from some of the warmer climate Cabernets that you can get. Um, it will go wonderfully with any kind of roast, any kind of mushroom dishes, um, lentils, like a lentil curry is really good with this because it's still got a freshness to it, a lovely acidity uh, to it that, 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 will, that will go with something... Um, with, with, with some spice, yeah? Um, so the Devil's Elbow is available on our website right now, of course, or any fine independent bottle shops. Um, check it out. The Devil's Elbow, why is it called the Devil's Elbow? The reason why it's called the Devil's Elbow is because back in the day, the old road to the Adelaide Hills used to be... That's my son. Um, <laughs> used to be a, like an old goat track of a thing. And, and um, I'm gonna finish this video. Um, and it, it kind of a, a, had this hairpin corner that everyone used to call the devil's elbow and trucks used to crash and everything there. And, um, and so it was, <laughs> this is Louie, everybody. Say hi, Louie. Hi, Louie. <laughs> uh, and so anyway, that's the devil's elbow. Look it up, Google it, um, drink uh, Cabernet all winter. Peace.